ordered these uh, Vivo Barefoot shoes uh, last week. They came in today, so I'm gonna give these a run through too. They're the gray. These uh, Vivos are super flat barefoot shoes, um, and there's not a ton of sole, super flexible. Supposed to be closest thing to barefoot that they have out there besides those um, those glove ones, you know, that look like, um, I forgot what they're called, but anyway, they're like a glove. Well, these are, these are like those, only they're different. You know, I'm gonna give them a run through and uh, we'll see how they go. All right, let's start this review up. I already see an issue. I'll show you right here, check it out. Kind of, it's not a big deal, but we need to tie these bad boys up here. Oh, jeez, let's get down here. You tie them up, they don't really pull very tight. I guess you don't need them to, but anyway, just kind of one thing I know is putting them on here. Try and get a couple different angles here on the, on the uh, style, so. This is a little side view. They look pretty cool. You know, definitely look like a flat ass shoe, but uh, yeah, not too bad. But I will show you over the top. It's a little bit different. So the over the top view, like I was showing before, is kind of uh, just looks wide, like a big old wide shoe. And if you're not used to looking down at your feet and seeing that, um, yeah, it's kind of off. It's kind of, you know, different. Uh, a lot of people rock the, you know, shoes and then they look down and I don't know, so it gives you like confidence and shit when you look down at your feet and you feel like, you know, oh, I got my shoes on now, I can do my workout, but, um, you know, this will just take it a little getting used to. First thing to talk about here is the fit, right? So they fit pretty good. The laces got this weird thing where they just have a hard time to pull it through these little holes, like get stuck, so it's kind of a bitch, but not a big deal, not a deal breaker. Overall, they fit pretty good. It feels like... You know, I, these are size t 10 and a half, and that's what I normally wear. So they feel they feel good, uh, wide in the front like they're supposed to be. So your foot, you know, spreads out, spreads out like, uh, you know, like that more. So, um, yeah, so the fit, no big deal. I think it's pretty, pretty damn good, actually. Durability-wise, I think they're going to be okay. I don't know if I'd do a ton of rope climbs. This seam right here. Seems a little bit suspect, so I'm not sure how long they'll hold up. But this is a recycled material. I mean, I don't think I'll tear them. It's just feel like this this attachment here around around where the shoe hits the heel. You know, I don't know a ton about how they design these, but and this is like a little place to hold the rope. You know, when you're doing a rope climb. So I don't know. Then the bottom seem pretty good. You know, decent tread. Uh, so um, I think they'll hold up pretty good. But like I said, there is some kind of, just a little suspect, just like a little nervous about that part right there. But anyway, I think overall, I think it's a, I think it'll be good. Comfort wise, uh, they feel, they feel fine, right? But like I was saying before, like if you're not used to wearing these uh, flat shoes, it might be a little adjustment period. It's kind of, uh, you know, it feels like you're barefoot. So when you run or do, you know, box jumps or burpees and stuff, it feels kind of weird. And, um. You just have to get used to it, but it's not nothing major. But there's zero cushion on this, so if you're if you're not careful, you can you know bruise the bottom of your foot and be kind of fucked off. But overall, I think they're pretty comfortable shoes. As far as the quality, overall they're built. Uh, I think they're built good. I think, like I said, they're durable. I think they'll uh, hold up for a long time. You know, the price is pretty high. It's like 150, I think, on Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but. They're uh, they're pretty expensive shoes, so I'm hoping to get a lot of wear out of it. I'll update this if anything major comes up and um, you know they don't they don't work out too well, or, or if they're awesome, I'll let you know. I'm gonna wear them for the next couple months just to see, break them in, break them out, see see how it goes. But um, yeah, overall quality is pretty good. So I gave this a little grading system numbers scale of one to five. Uh, the fit I gave a four, like I said, um, it's. Um, Feels fine, feels great, size 10 and a half, that's what I wear, they feel pretty good. So uh, overall I'd give it a four. They're not the um, um, not the tightest on the front and there's a little bit of weird thing with the laces so that's the only reason I gave them a point off. The style, I gave a five. I like them, I like the way they look. I think they look, um, you know, like, they, they look like workout shoes and they, you know, they're like different, not everybody else is running around rocking them so I gave it a five on that. 
durability. I can upgrade this one at a later date, but right now I'm going to give it a 3.5. Like I was saying, I suspect on the little seam around where the um, the, the uh, sole uh, attaches to the shoe. Just kind of wondering about that. So, uh, but I'll give it a 3.5 for now. Comfort, so four. Uh, like I had said, if you're not used to wearing flat shoes, then this might be uh, quite an adjustment period. If you are, um, they're not bad at all. Uh, I've worn these types of shoes for a little bit, so um, I, I feel like uh, they're not they're not too bad uh, compared to like Vans, Chucks. They're pretty much the same. A little bit more feel for the ground, but that's it. And then the quality overall, like how they're built and how they're made, and you know all these factors put together, I'd give it a, a solid four. I think they're good shoes. If you're looking for something a little different that not everybody else is out there rocking, um, I would give these a go. Thanks for checking out the vid. Uh, you know, subscribe if you uh, if you like what you see. If you have any suggestions for what uh, kind of gear I should cover, I'm trying to cover all kinds of different fitness gear. I even get into equipment at some point, but um, I wanted to stick kind of in the in the realm of you know clothing, shoes, stuff like that. Uh, next setup is going to be uh, some Ruka wear. Um, I I got a bunch of shorts and um, some tanks, some. Uh, what do they call them, performance tanks or whatever. So we're going to give those a run through and see how it goes. If it ain't too cold, I'm not going to run around fucking, you know, 40-degree weather and do it. But, um, you know, if it's warm enough, I'll, I'll rock it. But uh, anyway, thanks again, guys, for joining me. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, leave any comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.